Hello, I'm Don McMullen, news director for Midwest Television Incorporated. Our company operates television station WCIA located in Champaign. It serves a large portion of central Illinois and part of western Indiana. We presume you are watching this in the year 2015, 50 years from the date we're recording it. This piece of film is to be sealed in a time capsule for the new Co-Ed 2 Theater, the 50th Carasota Theater. And that time capsule is to be opened on the 50th anniversary of that theater. Today, as we record this film, WCIA is celebrating an anniversary of its own. This is November 14, 1965, and it marks the completion of 12 years of telecasting for our station. To mark the occasion, we're holding an open house, the first in our brief history, and thousands of persons from all over central Illinois are touring our station this Sunday afternoon. Today we wonder what changes there will be in the world in the next 50 years. How much different will your world be from ours? We've never pretended here to be a prophet, so it would be useless for us to speculate on that. But you might be interested in knowing something about our world, so that in the year 2015 you might gauge for yourselves what the changes have been. In the year 1965, the pressing world problem is the Cold War. The arms race, attempts to control nuclear weapons, and United States efforts to curb Chinese expansion in Southeast Asia. Domestically, the story which has attracted the most attention for the past several years has been the civil rights struggle. We wonder if 50 years from now, racism will still be a problem, or if you will wonder how there could ever have been some person who supported discrimination. Another big story of these days is the administration's war on poverty, which President Lyndon Johnson says will wipe out the pockets of deprivation which still exists in this otherwise prosperous nation of ours. Administration critics, on the other hand, call it a political boondoggle to buy votes and bring about complete federal control over the lives of our citizens. Fifty years from now, you'll know how these things were settled. With the illumination of historical perspective, you'll be able to judge how wisely we have made our decisions and how well we were able to carry out our responsibilities as a free people to govern ourselves. Let me say in closing that whatever we do now, from uh, attempts to clean up our rivers and lakes, to eliminate air pollution and beautify the landscape, to our efforts to deal with the population explosion and provide an adequate food supply, we are guided in part by a concern for you. We hope we will have not done too badly for you. Don McMullen, WCIA News.